In order to draw a dot plot, we need to come down here and change the graph type to dot plot. Then we need to choose a numerical variable for our variable one. In this case, we're going to look at the birth weight. Variable two is a numerical or categorical variable that we want to split by. In this case, we're going to have a look at whether or not the mother smokes. The third variable we can use to subset. For example, if we wanted to look at the mother's age, we can then split it up into the mothers who are under 22, 22 to 30, and so on. But in this particular example, we don't want to do that. We can also color by any particular variable we would like. So for example, we could color by the race, and then we can see the white mothers are blue, the other mothers are green, and the black mothers are represented by these red dots. We can also add in summaries where we can see the minimum, the lower quartile, the median, mean, upper quartile, max, standard deviation, and the number of points in each group. We can also come along and add in our box plot. Now this overlays the box plot over the points. If you prefer to have the box plot high, you can untick that and tick the high box plot instead. If you're in year 12, you're going to also want to add the informal confidence interval, which you get by ticking this box here, and the confidence interval limits. These are based off the median plus or minus one and a half times the interquartile range divided by the square root of n. You can also add in point labels so you can identify which points are which. For example, this here is point 187. So we can come down in our list here until we find 187, and we can see that this here was a mother that did not have a low birth weight. They were 19, white, and so on. Now looking at this, our title and axis labels are not particularly good. So a better title would be birth weight by mother smoke. When we look at our axis labels, it's important to add in the variable. So this would be the birth weight in grams. And we'll just tidy up that mother smoke slightly. And then we will update the graph. We probably don't want the point labels on when we're exporting this. So we're going to untick those point labels. And then to export the graph, you can either right click on it and either click on copy the image or save the image as.